my first day at Stay, I was quite excited as it was a new place, but in a way quite nervous because it was a lot bigger than my old school. Stowe is clearly a, um, a rural boarding school because uh, we're not hugger mugger with uh, any town, but not being hugger mugger, we're actually not very far from everywhere, so that Oxford, Stratford, Milton Keynes, London, etc., etc., are, are very much within striking distance. So it's a rural country boarding school. That we live in a wonderful place in the midst of wonderful ground. And I think the place clearly is very important, the sense of space, the sense of grandeur. But I think, crucially, a school is all to do with people. What can be made of everybody's individual talents and abilities. But I think it's clearly central here at Stowe. When a boy joins, uh, at about 13, he comes to a house, he joins a house, the house becomes his home, and he works from his home, he sleeps in his home, um, so it is very much his base for operation. He does things by house. There are ten houses, eight boys' houses and two girls' houses. Uh, the houses are between sort of 45 and 65 boys uh, and girls in separate houses. The age range is from about 13 to 18. I think we offer uh, the most friendly, warm, caring society and home for boys and girls to grow up in. We decided on Stowe because Robin's brother was here and um, he had a very happy time, very successful time here. We looked at several schools and we liked the, uh, we liked the ambience of Stowe. I'm looking for a decent university and uh, I hope he's going to have um, a reasonable general education on other things like uh, art, music, theatre, this sort of thing. We chose uh, Stowe School uh, because we had the uh, confidence with the school that they could draw the talent which my son has. There are two girls' houses, and we have between 45 and 50 girls in each house. The houses, although they're very different, each is different from the other, nonetheless, we have pretty similar facilities. The girls, obviously, um, they have double rooms in their first year and single rooms usually in their second year, but not always. And in that room, they have desk, bed, storage space, and so on, because that's their base, that's their home. They, they work there, they sleep there, they have their study periods there. Welcome back to Middle Six, and I've already welcomed the Lower Six, but welcome to you all as a house, and it's lovely to have everybody here together. I think that's one of the best things about Stowe, is how friendly everybody is. I think when you come here, you feel it straight away, the atmosphere, that everybody loves the place. I mean, you can't help but love a place. It's gorgeous. I think girls in, in a boarding environment make the place much more normal and natural. I think that they contribute strongly to the warmth and friendliness of the place. And I think that their achievements can be uh, a signal and encouraging to uh, the boys as well. It's not a co-educational school. I believe that young people need a little bit of space away from each other, particularly in the boarding environment. I've been boarding for 10 years now, um, and I've, the first, I mean, admittedly, my prep school, the first three years or so, where I didn't enjoy it very much. Um, but then, by the time I'd left and I came here, I, I, I used to love boarding. It, it was a real challenge, and it was exciting. The first two years, you have it, you're in a dormitory, and then you go into a two-man bed sit for the next two years, until your last year, when you have a single-man study. Well, I came um, from a day school, and I only joined, uh, became a boarder in the sixth form. And to me, it's a, a very good improvement. I really do love boarding. You make, um, the friends you make are so much closer. Coming from a mixed school, I didn't find the jump coming here too hard, but there are a lot more boys than girls. But um, the boys are very friendly, and you don't feel I'm outnumbered. Get up in the morning about half past seven, breakfast about quarter to eight, and then from about eight o'clock till quarter to nine, you've got free time. 
Quartz to Nine Chapel. I think the moral and spiritual side of the school is taken very seriously. A boy could read his Bible in a dormitory at night. Another might choose to get out his prayer mat and pray. Others will get quiet in the dormitory when they do that. Again, I think it's quite unusual, uh, but there's a spirit of tolerance and acceptance, which I think is um, extraordinarily unusual in a school. The motto is Persto et Preisto, which means I stand firm and I stand ready. Ready for what? Uh, well, ready for, for the world, ready to uh, ultimately to take on eternity and know my position in the, uh, in the scheme of things. I think it's had a tradition uh, of entrepreneurism, of diversity and breadth. Our principal aim is to teach Stoics to think, to think deeply, to think critically, and to think for themselves. In other words, our aim is to teach them the skills which are required for survival and success in this world. We're going to look, as I said, at the physical impact of granite. We offer no less than 16 GCSE subjects and over 20 A-level subjects. Would you expect to find farming activity no. taking place in these areas? No, it's just hardly any soil. Right. What else? Today there's a lot more work. It's more notes. It's just a lot more work than my previous school. Which in a way is good because you're learning more. You should see the temperature going up for about sort of 8 to 10 degrees. Yeah. Then take the bunsen out. Should we just keep going up and then, and then every keep going, going up? Okay. Yeah. I find that the teachers here in certain subjects, I find them a lot better than my last school. Robin, would you like to be on for us? Atticus got up from his chair, but he was moving slowly like, a, like an old man. I've improved a lot. I find they're just better getting it across than my last school. Now, this is the A aorta, all right, which is the biggest aria that you have, it looks like, because check out how thick the walls are. I think they make you work very hard here, which um, is quite tough at the time, but looking back now, I'm very glad they did. So I'm very satisfied with the way, the way they teach. So alpha is inverse sine 0.5. One of the strengths of our curriculum is that it's not a straitjacket. It's broad enough to accommodate every stoic. Yeah, what we need to do, maybe even using a pilot knife, to bring out the front... It's forward. very important to be sensitive to the, to the needs of every pupil and to have a provision which can respond to those needs. Pull that back and then I think this will come forward again. And then you're well on the way. I think it's fine. I think it's excellent. You've really got it under control. Obviously, pupils differ in their abilities and in their aptitudes. Some pupils, for example, will have special needs. They will have specific learning difficulties. And we have specialised and trained staff to deal with those needs. Of misschien ook in Rotterdam, maar daarna ga ik daar blijven wonen en werken. Bonsoon fue en Uber de Zweite Weltkrieg. La hora comienza con con la muerte de su marido. Language and communication are vital skills that everyone must have in the modern world. We offer no less than 11 different languages at the examination level. Over half of our sixth form are taking either an A-level language or a GCSE language as part of their subsidiary program. Most important, in your opinion, in in la obra de teatro. Everyone will be aware of the, the changes that have taken place in the Soviet Union over the last three years. Now, a direct result of those changes has been the arrival at Stowe of two or three Russian pupils in our sixth form. I really like I'm, I've made many, many friends, and everyone is friendly to me, and teachers and students, and I really like this place. It just so, so much opportunities to do everything. You can do drama, you can do sport, you can do science. So I think, I think I really like this place, and I think it's really me. Information technology pervades everything that we do in the curriculum. Every child has access to our computing room, which has an up-to-date bank of personal computers. Every house in the school has its own house computer. Increasingly, every Stoic has their own computer. I would imagine that within five years, Every stoic will probably have a laptop in the classroom.
great advantage of, of boarding is that um, after lessons, they have the whole uh, afternoon and indeed evening to really make the very most of the superb facilities available here. Touch, board, engage. <laughs> Right. Every type of sport is, is offered here, whether it be just uh, making the very most of the grounds that we have here, the lakes for fishing or, or shooting. They have a very, very full life here. Enjoying it a lot. There's a lot more to do, more freedom. There's a lot of variety of things which you can do in the day. You can also use the um, sign workshops, which is quite good fun. Your time's taken up quite a lot a day. There's golf, basketball, there's football. And there's the core, which takes place on a Monday. In this school, we, we have really a chance to practice a lot of sports outside school time because you can do, you can play squash, tennis, swimming, you can go sailing, canoeing, everything, which is amazing because in, in Italy, I hardly did any sports because I didn't have a chance. There, there is no space, no equipment, but as here, you have, can do anything you want, which is really good. That's why I try and do as much as I can. <laughs> We try very hard to help them see that they are not in some little enclave. In the beautiful surroundings that we have, it'd be very easy to become cut off from reality. But by virtue of trips that we take them on, particularly by visiting speakers we get, uh, we try to open their eyes to what the world is like. It's with enormous pleasure that we welcome Sir Ludovic to stay tonight to speak on the subject of legalisation, the legalisation of euthanasia. Sir Ludovic. I get letters, ladies and gentlemen, and so does the Voluntary Youth in Mazes Society. I get letters every week from people, mostly in the sort of 60s, 70s, even 80s, saying, can you tell me what to do if I feel that I don't want to go on? The traditions of the school have always actually been that, that we are involved with the community and the world at large. The Pineapple Club, which is a boys' club in London, in Paddington, was, was started in the premises of the Pineapple Pub by the first headmaster, and that is essentially for people from a very deprived life in an inner city area. And our third formers and, and some sixth former leaders go down there and enjoy mixing and organizing and, and being competitive. Can you try and articulate the phrase a bit more? Ta da da, ta ta da. Overdo the phrase a little bit more, make it a bit richer. Cantable, as it says, let it sing. Okay. Here at Stowe, we have an atmosphere which I think few other schools can rival. The beautiful buildings, the recital rooms, just the whole ambience of this place. So many musicians come to Stowe and say this is the perfect place to make music. There are a large number of students at Stowe who are active music making. The chapel choir amounts to around about 90, the choral society around 150, and around about 200 individual music lessons are given every week. But there is so much you can do. There's the choir, there's a chamber choir, um, there are various ensembles, there's the orchestra, um, and all sorts of other smaller groups that you can get involved in. I believe that music is important in the development of a child, 
because it allows them to express themselves, to be creative. And now we have so much leisure time, or hopefully we have so much leisure time, this is something which will give them pleasure and enjoyment for the rest of their lives. And those who have actually learned an instrument or have sung in a choir, I believe, get to know music from the inside, and that deepens their knowledge and enjoyment of music. There's so much going on here that, um, you know, you can do as much or as little as you want to. You can get so busy that it can, you know, the time just whizzes by. This year, the senior congreve and the junior congreve have been putting on plays, and we've had the millionaires, Bugsy Malone. So there's a lot of things to keep you interested. I think theatre is one of the greatest team sports that we ever get involved with at Stowe. Um, the two shows that I've directed here, uh, West Side Story and Bugsy Malone, both involved casts of over 60, um, but with orchestras, theatre crews, front of house. We had somewhere in the region of 150 people involved in each show. It's a wonderful team building experience. <laughs> The role of the, uh, the house uh, is to provide a very secure home base for them. Uh, equally, when they come back from lessons to the house, they do preps in the house. That, in a sense, supports the curriculum. We have three junior house tutors who come into the house and not only have tutorial periods, but also they come and do an, an evening's duty a week. Which would you like to do? Jog for our eight weeks. Find out the easiest ministry. Right. So we put Joffrey down on that column. My tutor, he, he looks after you, makes sure your work's going all right, checks up on you. He's a very nice person. I find it easy to talk to, and I know other people do as well. Come in. We're there, really, to make sure that they've got a, a, a basis, a backup, really, for all the academic work that they're doing. They will naturally come and say, I've got really good marks in this. Mr. Sernzo was very pleased with, with my essay that I wrote. Um, and when they get commendations uh, for work that they've done, they all come and tell us about it and come and show it to us. Oh, well. Hi. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Jonathan has got a photograph of himself here. Yeah. There he is. Well, that's isn't he? The housemaster's wife or husband often play a very large part in the house. I think the fact that uh, I'm a parent myself, I have two young children, uh, gives parents some confidence that... I do actually know what I'm talking about in terms of parenting. Also, there are so many members of staff attached to each house that um, they all bring different experiences uh, to the, if you like, the, the, the parental role. Uh, the matron has a very full role, uh, as a mother would have, um, from sewing on buttons to patching up and to give a bit of tender loving care. And the senior boys very much run the house run the routine administration of the house, the routine discipline of the house is, is run, overseen of course by adults, but, uh, but run very much by the boys. The senior boys have a great deal of contact with the junior boys and it's, it's that contact which uh, allows the, the junior boys in the house to feel that they really belong to the house, the senior boys care about them. It means that you certainly get to know everybody in the first year very well because you're in the same dormitory. Okay, right, it's time to pick some up. All right, well, I've got my own study at the moment, I'm in a single man study, and I suppose that's, that's been very helpful certainly in this year for the A-levels and things to knuckle down and actually get some work done. In the evening after prep, all the guys, especially in the lower six, can go to six room centre, which is like common room where they all can meet and stay together or have a drink and I think it's good because after two hours of you know solid work I think you just need to be social with other people. We are providing our pupils with the skills and with the abilities which they will need in an ever-changing and fast-changing world. We have a, a 
and industry and, and careers um, provision here, which brings industrialists, people from the world of commerce, prominent old Stoics, who are constantly coming into the school, bringing with them their experience and, and their expertise. We have a curriculum which is relevant in the sense that it provides our pupils with the necessary qualifications that they will require for entry into university and into the professions. Another thing that I think the school does in terms of preparing people for future life is it takes seriously the fact that boys and girls are going to have to face serious questions, they will face bereavement, they're going to face failure, and they need to be prepared for those things. And I think if we fail to educate them spiritually and morally, we have failed to educate them at all. Okay, we have an hour and a half to finish the exam. I think a stay education is a very general education. It's educational as in academic, but also it's a very, um, it's very well-rounded people, sporting-wise, um, music, art side. They, they cover everything. And um, I just think that's what you need, really, in a school. It's the, the best learning experience I could have got um, from the place I'm in, um, from the teaching I've got. Um, from the people I've met, the whole thing has just been, been an incredible experience, which I, you know, obviously I'll never forget. I'm so happy that I came at so If I went back, I'll do the same choice again. It's been one of the best two years of my life, actually. I know it sounds awful and sort of untrue, but that's actually um, how I feel. I'm very happy with everything that Stowe has done for my son, more than happy. But at the end of it, uh, making his mark in society is about being a rounded man and being qualified for higher education. So as far as character building is concerned, as far as uh, self-assurance is concerned, as far as even learning a few manners are concerned, I'm very delighted with what, my, what Stowe has done for my son. I want him to be a person and not a product. And that's what Stowe's given him. Well, I, I think they give a, a, an all-round balanced view of life, and not just academia, and uh, we're very happy here. And more importantly, my daughter's been happy here. So that's good enough for me. It's a very broad-based um, life here, so she's learned to cope with lots of people and lots of activities, and she's done lots of things which she would never have done elsewhere. Sorry that I'm so old now that I can't do this. <laughs> Perhaps it is only after one has left Stowe that one can begin to recognise the civilising effect of its marvellous buildings and superb landscape. To spend five years in such surroundings is, I believe, a truly great privilege and a life-enhancing experience that can leave an indelible mark on the senses. But perhaps the greatest prize that Stowe can offer, if young people make the most of their time there, is the development of the appetite, the urge, the hunger, call it what you will to learn more, to do more, to give more. An ambition to succeed in a vocation which will give the reward and the satisfaction that comes from giving as well as taking from society around us. Stowe offers that invaluable prize of being better able to get more from life than we could get if we'd never been there. As an old Stoic, that has been my personal experience. I hope it may be yours. <laughs>